In this video, I'm going to be showing guys what is the best possible team for limited season six, week six and NBA 2K23. My team, as you guys can see, these are going to be the game requirements on the screen. You must use players with a 73 point shot rating or lower, and then no free agent cards are allowed. So you can use any tier cards in the game. Dark matters. You know, you can use uh, pink diamonds, galaxy opals, diamonds, amethyst, any tier in the game, as long as the card does have a lower than 73 pointer and you can't use any free agent cards. And I will say, it is a lot trickier than you probably do think to find cards that are actually good in game besides the giants that do have a lower three ball than a 70 so hopping over to 2kdb because it's the best way to show you guys because i don't really have any of the cards in my actual collection to use for this week's limited because it's definitely a way different one than it normally is in limited so i'll just be i'll just be building the team here on 2kdb and I'll also give you guys some budget options or maybe some cheaper ones to look out for as well but a lot of these cards will be expensive because people are realizing these are the meta cards for this week's limited but first off at the point guard position is going to be the galaxy Opal ben simmons as you guys know he does have a lower three ball than a 65 and he's going to be an elite level defender you know he's got great size six foot 11 at the point guard position seven foot wingspan and that's the big key for this week's limited for week number six in season six is, is going to be all about height that's probably the the main thing you guys want to focus on is trying to get as many tall players on your lineup as possible that's why ben simmons is the best point guard if you guys have the stellar one 100 would recommend running him for the uh this uh, this week's limited at the starting point guard position i actually was using the gold ben simmons because once again didn't really have too many cards on my actual account so i was using the gold ben simmons i'm not sure uh, exactly what his three point rating is let me just quickly check but yeah i was using this ben simmons and i actually found a lot of success with him so if you want to go for like a super cheap point guard i assume he's cheap on the auction house he's only he's an inch uh, shorter than his galaxy opal only being six foot ten but like i said that's the name of the game is having a guy who's tall at the point guard position he's gonna be able to match up against most of the tall point guards in the game that you you might match up against like another ben simmons in limited but if you have the galaxy opal and we're trying to build the best team possible he's obviously going to be our starting point guard and probably our best player on this squad now for the starting shooting guard position a guy that i don't think really there's too many really on the auction house but you need to have on your squad is going to be this uh amethyst sean livingston who you can actually evo up to a diamond card like i've seen multiple Multiple people run this card and he's actually one of the best offensive cards that you can actually use because I think if you use his diamond, it's only going to count as his amethyst because when I've played limited, I've seen multiple diamond shot living sins in game. So I think what people do is you just evil the card up and then use him as a diamond. But I think the limited requirements only register as the fact that he does have a 63 ball. If you want to use his, uh, if you want to use his amethyst, you don't want to evil him. That's perfectly fine. But if you want to evil him, he's now going to have a 74 three ball and his jump shot's actually not that bad in game. Like I know it's only on normal timing, but it's not that bad of a jump shot. And he's a six foot seven shooting guard he's got a great jump shot uh, if, if you do evil him up to a, uh, a diamond card and he can actually shoot threes consistently so sean livingston definitely going to be the starting shooting guard now for the starting small four position this is a no-brainer at the small four position it's going to be this amethyst jerome williams he might be one of the best cards actually in this squad because if you take a look at him he's six foot nine at the small four position seven foot one wingspan his stats are super well rounded 90 interior defense 90 perimeter 91 lateral quickness 90 steel 87 block really good athleticism and he only has that 73 ball but he does have the kpj base and the kobe Bryant upper so he's got a great jump shot on quick timing and probably one of the only cards that you'll see in limited this week that that can actually be a really good three hunter and a guy that can shoot the ball at a very high level and that's why i think he's super expensive right now but if you're looking to build the best team, Jerome Williams is going to be one of the best cards to be running for this week's limited. Now for the four and the five, it really just comes down to kind of how much you want to cheese and what type of lineup you want to run. So if you want to go Simbular and Sean Bradley, for example, that could definitely work because yes, they're going to be super slow. But who's going to get paint stop on Sean Bradley and, and uh, Simbular unless they have these exact same cards? Because look at this lineup right here. You got Ben Simmons, Jerome Williams, Sean Livingston, who can all, you know, run the floor, you know, get to the basket. Jerome can three hunts. And then you got Simbular and Sean Bradley down low. I mean, they're just going to be so overpowered at that power forward and center position. So this would be the best starting five, in my opinion. And then off the bench is a couple point guards that you can use. Russell Westbrook, he's a really good amethyst just because of his uh, just because of his athleticism, his ability to get to the basket. He can still dunk the ball and be a really good slasher. Like he's actually not a bad amethyst card, you know, compared to this week's limited. Like he's going to be one of the better amethysts you guys can find. He's not going to be able to shoot the ball. He might be able to hit a wide open three here and there, but he's just going to be a great at getting to the basket and he's going to be super fast 
fast, able to run past, you know, all these slower centers. At the backup shooting guard position for some size, you want to go probably with this Amethyst Josh Giddy, six foot eight at the two. Pretty much all you need to know about Josh Giddy. Not going to be anything too special, but he's six foot eight at the shooting guard position. I wasn't really able to find a small forward. I think Dennis Rodman, if you guys do have this card, is probably the best card to go with. Now, I believe in the token market, he is available. I could be wrong. Let me quickly check. I think he is in the token market. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe they took him out. I think he used to be in the token market, right? I think now he, he got taken out, but I'm pretty sure he used to be in the token market. I don't think he's going to be here anymore, but if you guys do have him, he's a great backup small forward just because of his defense. And then for the backup four and the five, if you want to go ahead and purchase this Giannis card, the Series 2 Opal. I think he's definitely going to be worth having on this squad. And he can also play small forward as well. And I don't know what power forward to go with. Actually, you know what you could do? This might be a better lineup. Go Ola Wakandi. If you guys have this card from the Galactic Conquerors, which I know a lot of people do, he's a really good card to run. If you guys have Ola Wakandi, that is the card to be running. And then you can go with like George Mirasan at your backup center position. So in my opinion, this is the best time and, uh, time and rotation for this week's limited. Now, if you want to use some other cards as well, like you have Pink Diamond Cream, right? Cream's actually a really good option as well. You can shoot the three ball especially if you guys have been using him all year or since you got him all the way back in season two i know a lot of people are very consistent with his jump shot so cream could be a good option if you want if you have dark matter shack or opal shack both these cards can be super good especially the dark matter because i mean he's got great speed really good athleticism like he can just run past these slower centers and then also if you do have Nate Thurman from playing, I believe it was clutch time, right? If you have Nate Thurman, he's a really good card that can play the power forward and center position as well. So yeah, that's going to be this week's best limited team for season six. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about this week's limited? Are you guys going to be grinding limited? Are you guys getting Bob Pettit? Let me know all the type of stuff in the comment section down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.